Hi, Mike Stish here, and I wanted to show you a gotcha that I um, ran into in Python. It took me quite a while to figure out why a program I was working on that generates QR codes was getting like erroneous data when I was looping through some of my lists. And uh, you know, I've I've used Python for some time, and I felt I kind of knew all of the uh, ins and outs of it, but this one really threw me for a loop. So hopefully, it'll be uh, helpful to you. So um, it has to do with lists. So uh, let's just go ahead and make ourselves a test list. And um, what I'm going to do is make several members. <clears throat> and you know, it doesn't really need to be anything important for this example. Um, you know, I just want to be able to tell um, what each part of the list is. Should probably have spaces here just to make things look good. Follow the conventions. Okay, so that should be good. So what does that look like to you? Uh, to me, that looks like a list of lists. So we have, um, you know, these open and close brackets that are the list itself, and then each of these members has brackets, which makes them a list. So we have a list of lists. Um, you know, if you print it out, you get what you get. Um, and now let's make a copy of that list. So let's just call this list copy equals test list. All right, so, um, and list copy has the same, uh, you know, contains the same thing. Um, you probably already know uh, what I'm gonna say here. Let's just go ahead and define um, a little function here to display some IDs. Um, uh, let's print test list ID, and we'll do ID test list, okay, and list copy ID, okay, so this ID function um, that's right here, what this is going to do is it's going to give us the, um, like, it's basically a memory location uh, for where that list is stored, and if we run this, check this out, we have exactly the same number here. So we have two different uh, variables, but they're pointed to exactly the same data. Um, and the problem with that is if I change data in one list, it's also going to change the data in the other list. Um, and I don't want to do that. So uh, the actual right way to make a con to have made a copy would have been for us to um, assign the list by calling uh, the list function. So the constructor in this list function is going to make a brand new list and it's going to store it as list copy. So now if we display our IDs, we get different numbers, so different memory locations, which is what we want. Now, I understood that, I was using that, I'm making a copy of the list, it's just fine, but I was still getting erroneous data. And uh, let me show you a little example of why. So if I go ahead and I take one of the, if I take, let's say, the first member of the first member of my original list and I change it to um, big trouble, and I display test list, you can see there it says big trouble, but now watch this. If I display list copy, I also get big trouble. And the reason is Python doesn't see this as lists of lists. Python sees this as lists of list objects. And so when I made the copy, it was copying the um, memory location of the object. So let's, uh, let's get my definition back up here and let's add some more stuff. So let's print um, the ID of the first member of each list. Let's just go ahead and copy this. Okay, so if we now if we display the ID uh, you'll see that although we have different memory locations for each of our lists, our overall lists, 
um, the list inside of each list are pointing to the same memory location. Now there's a couple of different ways that we could have avoided this. So for instance, we could have done um, some kind of iteration through the list where we, you know, you basically enclose, um, you know, like you make um, a list copy, just be a list, and then you say for item in test list, and then list copy dot append, and then um, something like this. Now, um, this is going to give us our same members again, uh, but it's going to have different IDs. Um, because we've actually gone through and verbosely said make a list. So this is fine, this is one way to do it, um, but the problem is if you don't actually know if the inside lists can themselves contain objects, because anytime a list inside of it is going to contain an object, it's going to copy the memory address of that object. It's not actually going to actually copy a new list. And so um, one way that we can get around this, you know, if you don't know or for sure, you know, you don't want to uh, make the mistake and have to track this bug down again is by using the built-in um, deep copy. So um, I would probably do something like import or from copy import deep copy. But for now, I'm just going to do a, a whole import import copy. And so what we can do here, let's just go ahead and delete the list copy. Um, so we know we're starting from so list copy does not exist. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do list copy equals copy dot deep copy, and then our original list, which is called test list. Um, now we get a copy of that, and remember, big trouble was in there because we actually changed that in the first list. But if we display our IDs at this point, we do have different IDs for the overall lists, and then different IDs for um, the members within those lists. So uh, deep copy, something you're going to use if you're copying lists of lists or lists of objects, so you can avoid the same uh, gotcha that I encountered. Uh, once again, my name is Mike Stish. You can read more about this at jumptuck.com. Thanks for watching.